The Hours of Jean de Vreux is one of the finest examples of a 14th century type of devotional illuminated manuscript known as a Book of Hours. Created by the artist Jean Pucelle, this Book of Hours was commissioned by King Charles IV of France for his queen, Jean de Vreux. As a work of late Gothic devotional art, Pucelle's Book of Hours was designed to guide the queen in a schedule of daily prayers. To succeed in its purpose of making the spiritual mysteries of God more accessible to the reader, books of hours were often personalized. This book of hours, The Hours of Jean de Vreux, takes its name from the queen for whom it was commissioned. This video examines how The Hours of Jean de Vreux was designed to inspire and guide the queen in her personal devotion to God. One way in which The Hours of Jean de Vreux was personalized for the queen is in the inclusion of a set of images depicting scenes from the life of King Louis IX of France. King Louis IX, who had recently been canonized as Saint Louis in 1297, was Jean de Vreux's great-grandfather. The hours of Jean de Vreux include images by Pucelle depicting St. Louis caring for the sick and washing the feet of the poor. This depiction of the pious king washing the feet of bemused peasants both visualizes St. Louis as an imitator of Christ and would have provided the queen with a personal example of Christian piety put into practice. Pucelle's art exhorted the queen to follow her great-grandfather's example of humbly emulating Christ. In fact, Jean de Vreux was well known for her piety, and the queen was particularly devoted to the Virgin Mary. One of the most important sections of any book of hours was a set of prayers known as the Hours of the Virgin. These Hours of the Virgin were often accompanied by depictions of subjects from Christ's incarnation and infancy. However, in the hours of Jean de Vreux, Pucelle has innovatively paired the scenes of Christ's infancy with scenes from his passion. This book of hours features one pair of images for each of the eight hours of the Virgin. These eight pairs of subjects, one from Christ's infancy and one from his passion, are the arrest of Christ and the Annunciation, Christ before Pilate and the Visitation, Christ being beaten and the Nativity, Christ carrying the cross and the Annunciation to the Shepherds, the Crucifixion and the Adoration of the Magi, the Deposition and the Presentation in the Temple, the Entombment and the Flight into Egypt. the resurrection, and a missing page, possibly the coronation of the Virgin. In a book that when opened is smaller than a hand, these side-by-side -side images are meant to be viewed as one unified visual and spiritual experience. This advances the purpose of the Hours of Jean de Vreux as an agent of personal devotion. This pairing of scenes from Christ's infancy and passion creates a space for the viewer to contemplate 
what each of these subjects might mean in relationship to the other. As one of the finest examples of late Gothic sacred art, this book of ours, which is in the collection of the Cloisters Museum, is now available to everyone. The modern viewer can enjoy the magnificence of Pucelle's visual method and contemplate the theological content depicted. But every time we say its name, we recognize that the Hours of Jean de Vreux was created to be a personal devotional guide for a particular woman 